Welcome back, everybody, to Daily Flash. As you can see, we have our good friend Ana Kinkosa. So oh, love joining being us here with you so guys. Happy. And joining us live so in the kitchen. This is a Cuban sandwich. Right. Yes. Yes. And I'm very excited because she's making one of my favorite dishes. And what yeah. makes this even better is that all these fish you see here, I caught myself spear fish. fishing. So I was in the water and I shot these guys. You're so manly. I am, right? Ooh, Mufasa. Oh, yeah. He brought Mufasa. home the bacon. Mufasa, say it again. So, so show them how you take the skin off the fish. He's been Alrighty, busy yeah. filleting. So we're, we're, what making, a man. we're making ceviche, right? We're going to make ceviche. Okay. And yes, we're yes, using yes. the beautiful hogfish he brought. And okay. so. Very simple, fillet. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt George. yourself. Are you? you I'll, know? I'll, I'll try. I mean, well, you do this on the boat. Right? I do this on the boat. Yeah, yeah and so it's, it's usually and it's usually a little bit like rockier. And uh, well, here we go. We have some. So I'm gonna start cutting up in little, pieces, little pieces. Little pieces. Little pieces of fish. You don't have to do it so little. Some people like it. I'm gonna start. Well, that's, make this that's a little a long faster. Piece. Well, that looks awesome. And just to like to let everybody know, hogfish meat is very white compared to other types of fish, and it's very, very expensive if you want to buy it anywhere else because... Ooh, you're so go and catch it yourself. you got to go catch it yourself. And you know where to where and to get and them, obviously. Besides hogfish, what else would you use <laughs> Oh, you can use a lot of people use tilapia. I okay. don't yeah. love tilapia because it's farmed and, you know. But yeah. some companies have good tilapia in special uh -huh. lakes that they're... But I like this. I like yellowtail. A lot of people do shrimp ceviche if they prefer. Oh, yeah. Would you like to do this yeah. one as well? And so Cut that any kind of whitefish is good? Any kind of whitefish is good. All and right. you could do octopus. You could do whatever you want. So okay. very simple. We're going to add some chopped tomato. All right. We're going to add some... Red pepper. Well, wait a minute. Wait, wait, this these is... are serranos. So okay, serranos. What are that? That's like these things. They right? look oh. like that. You can use serranos. You can use jalapeno. You could use whatever you want. They're hot, but they're not crazy hot. When uh -huh. you cut a pepper, yeah. Let me just show you. Uh, you have to get all, all the, the seeds heat, out. All the heat is in the seeds and the ribs. So if you take that off, you're gonna have a little bite, but it's not gonna be crazy. Ooh. Well, don't you want the seeds then? Because isn't that like ceviche? It, isn't like cooking it with the. With, the, lime, with right? the citrus. You're the cooking citrus. it with the citrus. Okay, yeah. so it doesn't really matter no. about this. It'll just make it spicier. It'll just make it a little spicier. And what did you just put in there? Lime juice, onion, and okay. a little bit of orange juice. And you know, the thing about this is that you uh. just have to taste it. You know, okay. you have yes. to taste it. A okay, little... now that was a lot of salt. Well, you need a lot of salt. Salt okay. adds flavor. Don't yeah, be afraid no, I, just, of salt. I just want to get like a sense of how much to. Right. But you, that was a big. Yes. Fingerful. Boom. Yes. Okay. It was, you know, and the thing is, we might add more because you need to taste it and see mm. if it has the right. Shazam. And this is this cilantro. This is cilantro. Okay. That already looks good. I gotta tell you. Right. Guys. Smell it. It's just fresh smelling. Oh my gosh. Did we wash this before? Of course we <laughs> washed it. And I'm gonna tell you something. I have a dedicated board for fish because. That's a good ideally, point. Yes. Ideally, you want to use plastic, but this one is not very porous, so you want to have something you use just for fish. Yes, yes. Oh, so okay, so plastic is good for Plastic is good for fish. It's not going to absorb dedicated much. For fish. Yes. Okay. Look at that already. That looks beautiful right? with all those colors. Mm -hmm. And then, and of course, you leave this for a little while. That is so and wouldn't you, you, you wouldn't use the whole thing of orange juice? Maybe. You maybe? Okay. Maybe we will. Maybe. Oh, maybe we're going to add a little more. Okay. That is so and good. it actually needs, for my taste, a yeah. little more salt. Salt's good. <laughs> and a little more onion. Onion. And, and then what about this? You have some, what? Some hot sauce? A little hot sauce. I love you it. You like that? It you is like so it good. Yes. You like it hot? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yes. So can well, that's you not very stir? Much. Well, just a little bit. Can okay. you stir this I can for do me? That. Yes, and then you're yes, gonna yes. plate it right there. And you know what? Traditionally, you want to serve it with a little avocado. Ah. A lot of times they serve it with choclo. You know what choclo yes. is? Those is that little chocolate? big corn. <laughs> those little big corn, or they oh. do the fried corn, which I have here. Mm. Okay. And sweet potato. Sweet so potato's so good. I love it. So what I did was that instead of actual sweet potato, I bought sweet potato tortilla chips Ooh. just to give it, you know, that sweet potato flavor. Is there Ooh. a certain amount of time you have to leave the ceviche to marinate? Mm. I've heard different things, right? Like from 30 minutes to four Look, hours. If you know who caught the fish, and we do, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's fresh, which is, you know, 20 minutes is going to do it. 20 minutes is going to do it. But okay, you can leave so it longer. You know, it's really more for the flavors to melt yeah. and come yeah. together. Yeah. So, so that's it's so it's not like a health issue. It's just really a question of it's a taste. health issue if you don't know how long the fish has been sitting around. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's one I mean, the health so issue. So would the orange juice make it safer? I mean, the uh, lime juice. The lime juice. But not if it's bad fish. Okay. So if it's bad fish, it doesn't matter how long no, you marinate. No. And I gotta tell you guys, from personal experience, uh, when we catch them and we do, we make ceviche right on the boat as soon as we catch it, like what, a minute after we catch it, and it only takes like 20 minutes to like be all set, okay. all ready to go. So have you had ceviche? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. I think this is a great thing for. Should we put this right here? Yeah, let's Look put it that. there. 
Okay. And then you garnish it. All right. All right, guys. Right. Have a chip. Let's put it right here. <laughs> oh, right some chip. avocados. Oh, what, so what do you mean? Like, would you sprinkle that on? You, know, or you just... can sprinkle it on, or you can just serve it alongside. Okay. And a little bit like this. Okay, so you're making it look real pretty too. Of course, That's I make things look it. pretty. You can yeah. always add a little bit more lime, wow, a little bit more. This is really, really again. I'm all about the blank canvas. You do yes. whatever you want to it. If you can add jalapeno, then... you can add anything else, but. That doesn't suck, right? Mm-hmm. That is so good. Yeah. With, with your good hogfish. Oh. And, yeah. and this is a good. great thing for Cinco de Mayo, like you said it. Sure. You said Cinco de Mayo like a gringo. It's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> good for you. All right. Oh my God, Anna, this is so delicious. Thank you Thank so much. You for Will providing you stick around? Fish? You're the young man in the sea. Yeah, I did. I hope you can stick around and make us another recipe with my daily catch. Absolutely. Up All next, right. a Up fast next, food. A fast food chain might have just become the hottest table in town. Plus, Trump and Putin, big announcement and how it affects the American military. There's much more Daily Flash on the way. So pretty.